Hello everyone. This is Rashid Kibria from University of Florida. Today I want to demonstrate the efficacy of my developed RTLFSMS tool on a block cipher. The block cipher uh, is ESCON. Uh, that ESCON cipher has been submitted recently to NIST. As you see, uh, this is the main documentation from uh, this group. They submitted this uh, probably uh, in 2019, so three years ago. I will uh, try to extract the control FSM of, of this design. I have received the very of HDL based design of this cipher from one research group, and I will try to analyze that with my developed RTL FSMS tool. So let's go ahead. Uh, as you see here, the main graphical user interface of our SOC security tool chain and my tool is already integrated into this and you can find this inside analysis and RTL you will see the control system extractor and you select that it will open up a graphical user interface the fastest uh, you have to include all the RTL dependency files but this design does not have any defined file or a parameter variable holding files. Uh, so you do not have to include anything at the fastest stage. Uh, you just keep this uh, field blank. Uh, the next task is basically to read all the RTL designs of that, uh, for, of the entire design. So here now I will try to uh, browse through this folder and inside benchmarks you will find SCON. And here all the design files are located. So I will uh, select one after another and then hit open. It will add that all the RTL design files. The third task you have to do is to load the RTL FSMS tool and you can find that uh, inside this tools directory. And here there are basically two versions of RTL FSMS, V1 and V2. Uh, V2 V1 version generates the extra transition graph in text format. And V2 version generates the um, state transition graph in graphical format. So I will first try to analyze this uh, ESCON AAD design uh, using this U1 version of RTL FSMX. And if you select it and hit open, it will uh, load this tool. And then you have to click on the extract control FSM button and it will start running tool. And you see uh, it has actually analyzed all the RTL designs and have generated a certain report. And you can find that if some extraction report via just browsing and you go to the directory. Uh, uh, and here you see two files uh, has been generated by RTL FSMX. The first one is the FSM description report. You can just select that and hit open. It will uh, show that uh, entire report in this uh, common prompt. Here we see the clock pin, the reset pin, and all the straight encodings orders, the straight encoding are uh, utilized, and also the uh, straights present in this RTL design. And uh, RTL FSMX is also generating the FSM input signals, the signals which are controlled by the straight variable. That is actually the control output of signals generated from the FSM and the reset state and everything. And so, now you can also display the ST transition graph here. So it is a text file. I will select it and hit open, and it will actually show us the ST transition graph um, and also the ST transition correlations, why certain transitions have happened. And here we see a detailed FSM extraction report for all the uh, transitions available here. Now I will try to I analyze this uh, all the RTL designs with the V1 with the V2 version of this tool, and I I will again go inside tools directory. I will select uh, this V2 file and hit open. It will add that. And uh, next, you have to uh, click on the extract control efficiency button, and it will uh, start running the tool. This is actually a massive file due to the uh, Python graphics library there. Uh, so. Now the tool actually takes some time to be loaded, and after that, it actually um, starts uh, running and executing all, all of these stuffs. So uh, we will just restore, uh, just wait for uh, the report coming out. Yeah, you see the 
process has, has just started and uh, all the RTL designs are now being analyzed and it will ultimately uh, uh, show us a, a graphical report. Yeah, you see the FSM extraction uh, process has been completed and now we can see, uh, find the extra transition graph of it. So uh, again, I go into the same directory and here we see the PNG file there. So I uh, select that and hit open and it actually shows us uh, the control FSM of, of this part. So uh, if I try to zoom in a bit, uh, so you will see a more detailed view here. And uh, this is actually the uh, entire um, control FSM ST transition graph for this ASCON uh, cipher. And uh, that is uh, actually the efficacy of RTL FSM as it can analyze any uh, provided RTL data and written in Verilog and uh, show you the uh, FSM there. And also with the extract transition graph, it just performs uh, the source code analysis. And from that, uh, it extracts this control FSM. That was the demonstration of RTL FSMX on uh, ESCON Cypher Core. Thank you.